with SCS Concrete for over 15 years, this year's Jeff's Inspiration Award winner, Andre Guaberto, has made a career out of doing what he loves. After moving to Philadelphia from his native Brazil, Andre quickly began to move up in the construction business, taking on the role of supervisor. When you first come to the job site, you see just the foundation there, and then all the sun, you see some walls, and all the sun, you build a house next door, some people are already living in the place you just built. That is, wow, it's amazing, it's a great feeling. It's, it was a perfect trade for me. Andre was employed at SCS Concrete for nearly nine years when tragedy struck. In 2000, he was in a car accident that left him permanently paralyzed from the waist down. He worried that his ability to earn a living in a field he loved was over. Well, after my accident, I became paraplegic. I wasn't able to walk, to do the kind of work I used to do. From the day I met him, yes, he was always into carpentry. So when he had the accident, that was devastating that he couldn't return to that. It was like the worst day. Um, whole world changed. Despite a struggle to come to terms with his disability, Andre wanted to be able to support his family again. When he learned about Orleans Technical Institute Northeast Campus and found that it was located in his own neighborhood, Andre began taking courses in computer and business skills. After my accident, I didn't work for a year and a half. I went to Orleans, I'd say to a year, about a year after my accident. Andre's knowledge of carpentry, combined with the new skills he was building at Orleans Technical Institute, made for a perfect fit in the construction business. SCS Concrete rehired him eight months into his coursework at OTI. I think going back to school gave him the confidence he needed and to be able to feel like he could do something. Well, here, I'm working construction, basically, but of course, not up there, not physically. Well, I, I couldn't envision myself being at home for, for the rest of my life. And I, I just got to be out there. I got to be doing something. Getting the diploma gave me a great feeling of accomplishment. So I did it. I felt good. And like I say, it's starting a new career after being this old. <laughs> but that's not bad. I'll take another challenge. He brings that positive aspect to other employees because if they, they sort of look up to him, eh? you know what, he's got a disability. And if he can do this, hey, we can do this. We've been married, it'll be 10 years. We have uh, three children, Andre Jr., who is nine, um, uh, Christina, who is eight, and John is seven. They love him to death. He's fun to play with. What I like about my dad is that he's nice and he gives us respect. What I like about my dad is that he plays with me on Nintendo. He's cool. He passes good values like, you know, education. Finishing the program at Jeb's was great because it shows them that they should continue education and, you know, showing them that you can, even with any disability, you can go forward and nothing should stop you. Facing the obstacles that Andre has had in his life, it would have been easy for him to give up hope. He truly is an inspiration to everyone at Orleans Tech, his co-workers, friends, and family. Congratulations, Dad.